Hello and welcome back to another survival season to episode 19. Hopefully I got the episode number right. <laughs> welcome back to another episode. I'm sorry it has taken so long. What has it been? Three weeks since the last episode. I'm so sorry, but I kind of needed a little bit of a break from it. Uh, burnout, you know. It, 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 it happens, okay? <laughs> it happens, but we are back and I'm excited to continue. I have though been doing a few live streams here and there preparing for this episode. Uh, so if you haven't watched those, uh, there's a playlist with all past the Survival Season 2 live streams. I will try and remember to link them down below. If not, remember, remind me down in the comments. Um, but anyways, today is a very, very big day because uh, we have been preparing, as I said, and we recently, well, it's last episode really, we made this beacon platform right here. This is a full beacon, all four layers, all gold blocks right here. Very, very cool stuff. Um, and that is one of the goals for, that is one of the goals for this season. That is to defeat the wither and make a full beacon. So those are basically two in one, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's right, you stay back. Today we will be defeating the Wither and making a full beacon. Yeehaw! So let's, okay, that was fine. <laughs> let's get to it. So let me show you some of the stuff that we have done off camera because it's actually quite a lot, uh, a lot of grindy work. So first thing to cover is this netherite axe. Yes, we made a diamond axe, we enchanted it and it got sharpness three and unbreaking three on it, and we upgraded it to netherite, of course. So that is a very, very cool weapon right there. That is going to be key to defeating the wither. We have a stack of spectral arrows, and I haven't really added any enchantments to the crossbow. Uh, it's fine as it is. Um, I guess I could have made a normal bow, but it's all right. Uh, that is pretty much it for the inventory. Now, what we have done other than that is in this chest. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> Yes, we've been cooking food. No. <laughs> this chest. Here it is. So, we have two pieces of Deatherite armor and two pieces of iron armor. Fully enchanted, level 30, and we have our potions. Let's cover the potions first. So, we have a strength 2 potion for 1 minute and 30 seconds. Fire resistance, just in case. Night vision for 8 minutes, so we can actually see. And a potion of regeneration that we will be drinking at the beginning of the fight. Armor-wise, we have boots with unbreaking 3, protection 4, and, well, that's Strider, kind of useless unless it works in lava. Then we have the helmet, which is protection 3, unbreak 3, and aqua affinity. A trash enchantment, but down here in the nether, obviously. Chest plate, we have thorns 2, protection 4, and unbreaking 3. And the leggings have blast protection 3, 4. Yeah, it just... It, it just wouldn't do. <laughs> I think I redid this one like two times and chat basically said uh, keep uh, blast protection for which is I think hopefully going to help us against the wither. So that is our armor and that is our equipment. Um, so how about I take off this old armor here. I don't know where to put it really. Um, I guess it should have a chest kind of. Do I have any wood? No, of course I don't. Um, Help. I'm just gonna put it in here. These two chests are a mess anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, let us take on the new shiny armor. Now this armor will of course not befriend uh, piglins. So that is something to keep. Actually, you know what though? That's not enough. We need to, we need to do this. Suit up. Alright, awesome. Let us then take our potions right here. And these are all drinkables, and one thing I need to critically remember is to bring golden apples. Because the wither effect is going to be very nasty, so we want to have some golden apples with us. Five should be plenty, hopefully. Um, I was gonna bring bits, but I do not have enough string for that. Alright, so where are we actually going to be having this wither fight? And I have chosen the area for that as well. And for that, we actually need to break this fence here. And we have any fence gates. We actually do. Not the right color, but you know what? It's all right. Uh, for now, anyway. I guess this will work. Uh, yeah, so I need to make a quick path up to the surface that is over here, basically. So 
Uh, let me do that and I'll be right back. This should be very fast, considering I have an insta-mine pickaxe. I just need to be careful. Not to mine something that I don't want to mine. I did just equip my old golden boots here because I hear piglins and I don't really fancy having a fight with them right now. Uh, I'll equip the boots when we need them. Uh, so let me finish the staircase and you can see where I wanna have this fight. That was a journey, making the staircase itself <laughs> all the way up here. Alright, so now that we are here, let me just remove this tree, I'll need the wood anyway. Uh, later you so we want to be up near whoops screech chat we want to be up near the nether ceiling which is going to be right up here um okay yeah i'm not gonna complete that whole staircase right now but yeah up here basically so we're already at y level 102 so i want to basically start right here dig a staircase up and I'm not gonna drink the night vision potion yet, even though it is very tempting. I'm gonna make a staircase all the way up to the bedrock ceiling, and we will be clearing out a space. And no, I will not be cheating, making the wither stuck in the ceiling. That would be too easy, too much preparation uh, for it to go out just like that. So I'm gonna continue the staircase, and uh, yeah, I'll be back once we're ready. And I forgot the wither heads, but yeah, okay, I'll have to get back to those. All right, there is the ceiling, and now I just want to make a little bit of a space here, going, I guess, this way. Yeah, I guess this should be good enough. Maybe make a little bit of more room, so we have some, uh, yeah, some room to be in here. And I think this should be all right. I am going to make a little bit of a staging area uh, back there. Just where I can hide and eat my golden apples and such. And let us make where the wither is actually going to spawn. So we're going to need a little bit of space for that. And heh, heh, heh. Yep, yeah, I think this should do it. Alright, sweet. Just going to throw this out here because we don't need it. Have plenty of those. And yeah, let me get the wither skulls and we shall commence the fight. This is happening very fast, actually. Uh, I don't know if I like this. This is, wait, where's my staircase? Uh, yeah, this is all happening very fast here. Um, hopefully everything is gonna go well. I am doing this very close to my house as well, so this could both be bad and it could be good. I guess we're gonna find out. Oh yeah, we did a bunch of uh, bartering actually. Well, not a bunch. We used like 52 gold ingots and we got this many fire resistance potions and three water bottles. So that's really cool for the future, I guess. Uh... Yeah, these are the ones. Oh, did I mention? No, I haven't. Uh, we got two Wither Skeleton Skulls within 28 minutes without using looting. That was pretty cool. Go and uh, watch the stream. It's uh, <laughs> pretty interesting. All right, so here we have Wither Skeleton Skulls. And I should have... I checked this. Yes, Soul Sand right here. <sighs> yeah, I think we're ready. Let's go. I do kind of want to do that though, just for safety, for right now anyway. Yeah, let's uh, let's do this, I guess. All right, I think we are ready. I think we are ready to do this. So I'm gonna drink the night vision potion. There we go. Nice. We can actually see stuff. And I have the skull and the soul sand right here. I'm gonna place down the soul sand right now. I'm gonna place that down right there. And I'm gonna equip these, so I'm gonna drink the fire resistance, then the strength, and then the regeneration too, right as the wither is about to blow up. And hopefully, it shouldn't take longer than those 22 seconds. <sighs> I think we're ready. Yep, let's do this. Skull, I'm actually gonna drink the fire resistance potion first. I'm gonna save the glass bottles, because those are, yeah. Here we go. No way of returning. Strength, and then the regeneration as soon as it starts blinking. Now, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, gotta have to do critical damage here to the wither. Just gotta keep smacking it. The regeneration is going to keep the wither effect at bait. We're gonna have to shoot it at this stage. Shoot it. Shoot it. I need to try and get up here. 
because otherwise I'm actually gonna go down, down, and down. Ooh, this is difficult. This is very, very tough. This is very tough. So we need a golden apple here. We need to try and get up as fast as possible. And gotta keep shooting at it. Gotta keep shooting at it, gotta get the health down. Like that. And we gotta smack it with the axe so it can't fly away. Oh, I'm about to die. Hold on. Gotta eat another golden apple. Come on, we got this, we got this. Okay, gotta keep hitting it, gotta keep hitting it. Gotta keep hitting it. We got it. We got it. Eat a golden apple. Uh, the winner too is for 30 seconds more. Okay, okay. <laughs> we did it though. That was tough. Man, that was tough. Whew. Okay, just gotta watch the health here. And what I can actually do is eat as well. To get a boost of uh, regeneration as well. Whew. How close were we to the surface, I wonder? Huh. Probably very close. Alright, the wither effect wore off. We did it, guys. We defeated the wither. Oh boy, that was... that, that Honestly, that was getting a little bit scary, but I had confident. I, I was confident in, uh, in, in, in... Well, kind of, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Went down to two, well, go five golden apples. I left three at home. I should probably have taken more, because uh, we actually used, like, three, I think. But anyways, we got the nether star right there. Oh boy, that was actually scary. That was, not gonna lie, scary. I'm happy that I took the fire resistance, though, because look at this. That lava was very, very close to me. If I had landed in that, it would have been game over, because I wouldn't have been able to see anything. Yeah. But we got it. We got the nether star. Let's bring it back to base safely. Uh, gonna have my axe out because I don't have my golden boots on. You are just gonna go away. Just like that. Wait, where's my... Where's my staircase? I keep losing my staircase. Here it is. Good. Oh boy. We did it though. The nether star is safe with us. Sweet! Let's put those uh, glass bottles in there. I can equip the twisted wines now, which I never use anyway. <laughs> oh boy. That was good though. Now, on to part two of actually building the beacon. And for that, I did realize that we need glass. So I need to double check the price at Bob over here for, for glass. I think it was 16 soul sand and one coal, I think. Yeah, 60 soul sand, 1 coal for 1 glass, and we need 5 of that, meaning we need a stack at 16 and 5 coal. I really hope I have that amount of coal, actually. Um, okay. <laughs> good, good, good. And then we need the soul sand? Soul sand. Here we go. We are actually making the beacon, and we're gonna get a level 5 beacon today. That is absolutely crazy and amazing. This is all very, very cool. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful. Those guys see me, I'm dead. Oh no. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey buddy. Okay. 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 This axe is so powerful when doing critical damage. Like it one shots so that's so awesome. Alright. Glass, we need five pieces of glass. We have obsidian. We got this. I actually just realized that these glass bottles are completely useless. <laughs> I have no way of putting anything into them. They're completely useless at this point. Okay, well that's interesting. Um, okay, so obsidian. Here we go. Let's make the beacon. Let's not hesitate. Five glass, three obsidian, and nether star. A lot of preparation and a lot of time has been put into this. And here we are the beacon. Let's place it down. Let us place it down. And I hope it works with those lanterns there, because they look awesome there. Oh, okay. I fell down from the fence. That's fine. <laughs> Let's get up here and place down the beacon. Uh, actually, there is one more thing that we need to do. I forgot. I'm not going to place it down yet, because I need to make a clear path to the bedrock ceiling from this very spot. Um, oh, wow. I actually forgot I needed to do that. All right. Let's do that then. 
There are people that say that uh, you can't have a beacon in the nether, but that's actually not true. The beacon does work, but you need to do it a certain way. So the beacon is going to be placed here. I then need to go all the way up here because I then need to clear a path to the bedrock. So the beacon needs to be able to see the bedrock ceiling basically, and then it will work. So yeah, but a little bit of uh, Minecraft science and school Minecraft lecture, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what wire level am I? Okay, it's gonna take a little bit. Almost there. I should be there now. Yep, there we go. So that's the bedrock. And we can now go all the way down again. And the night vision were off. Cool. Not cool, actually. I really enjoyed having that. And here we go. All the way down to the beacon. And... Boom. Now the beacon shall work. So. Uh, gonna have a bite. And we're gonna place it down. Alright, here we go. Three... Two, one, and wait for it. Boom. It works. Now let's take a look. So this is a full beacon right here. We could get haste, we could get speed, we could get resistance, jump boost, strength, and regeneration. That's pretty awesome. This is pretty cool. Now, I don't actually know which one of these um, I should pick. Like, I honestly don't know which one of these two I should pick. I don't feel like I need resistance. Then again, there are a lot of hotlines around here. Speed 2, I feel like, would be very dangerous. Haste, I already have a very fast pickaxe. Jump boost, strength, regeneration might be nice. I don't know what to pick. I think I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. Let me know down in the comments what thing I should pick from this beacon. Speed, haste, resistance, jump boost, strength. Let me know. And if and also let me know if we should just pick the normal one and regeneration, or if we should pick um, like the speed two, for example, or the haste two of whatever variant that is. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. So, which one of these five or these six? Actually, which one of these five should we pick? And if it's one of these, should we get it to, for example, the second tier? Or should we pick regeneration as well? Because we can have jump boost and regeneration at the same time. Uh, I'm pretty sure anyway. Yeah. So let me know which thing we should pick from this down below in the comments. And uh, I'll pick one next episode. But we are not done here. We need to uh, make it clear on the board. Ow. We need to make it clear on the board that we have completed these two. Now, I can either dye them blue, just for fun, showing that we've done them, which I think I'm actually going to do. Uh, three gold. Do I have that? I'm not sure. Eh, nope. But I do actually have a little bit of gold over by the gold farm. So even if I don't have a whole lot, I can just swing over there and get a little bit of gold. Just so we can mark them with blue. It is literally the only two colors that we have down here in the nether. We have... Oh dear. We have blue and we have white. And those are the only colors that we have available to us. Um, which is a bit unfortunate. Would be nice to have some more. Oh dear. Um, I mean, a bit of a pickle here. Oh dear. Hmm. <laughs> this is not safe. Uh, I guess this could work if they would just stand still. Yeah, this is working. All clear. All right, I have actually a bunch of stuff here, so uh, I don't fancy bringing the swords right now. We have enough gold for at least... Actually, I might farm some of it because I think in total... Oh, I have enough. Perfect. Let's head back and dye uh, the science blue of which that we have completed. And take a look at what, at what we are actually missing. That is really cool. You know something we could actually do? We could actually color the beacon using glass. 
what color would that be? That would have to be light blue. I guess that would work. Hmm. Let me know if we should do that down in the comments, because uh, that's doable. Just gotta get a little bit more soul sand, because I think I would like to do it with a glass pane. I think that would work, maybe? I would have to test that, but uh, should we color it? Let me know. Um, Alright, we have enough gold. Perfect. Let's go down to Bob. Alright, two laps of Sully. Uh, wait, why am I going up? I don't need to go up. Alright, let's uh, get rid of you real quick. I guess we should actually put some lights on this. Yeah, let me get some lanterns. We are gonna make this look fancy today. Alright, I'm gonna place a slab there, there, and there. And then a lantern under each one of them. And the slab is attached to the stair, so it makes somewhat sense. And yeah, that definitely lights things up. Alright. What have we done? Blue die. Here we go. Defeat the wither. Completed. And make a full beacon. Also completed. Okay, that, that does... That could be a way better color, but you know what? We're gonna go with it, because that's the only color we have. We actually have only... Actually, I made a mistake. We have white, light blue, and blue. But you know what? We're going with blue. Uh, I kind of I kind of like it, in a way. I don't know. We're going with it. Now, what else do we have? Finish all possible advancements. That is going to be very, very interesting. I have no idea how that's going to be. And still something very mysterious. Um, yeah. That will unlock when we're done with that. And I don't know. Like, so complete all possible, what did it say? Finish all possible advancements, right? So, get a full suit of netherite armor. We would have to do that, for example. Rescue a gas from the nether, bring it safely home to the old world, and then kill it. We would not be able to do that, so that is what it means. I don't know how much of this is actually going to be use, uh, doable. Hmm. I guess we will have to see in the next episode. So I'm gonna leave it there. This episode is like 22 minutes long. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm very excited for what is to come. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. I really hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. I might do a stream uh, making the staircase look nice, by the way. I don't know. I don't know because I might not use it again. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. <laughs>